Some of you might have heard this poem before. To the boys who make fun of me for being a feminist, I understand. I understand that it is intimidating to speak to a girl who doesn't really care about Grand Theft Auto or how much you can lift. I get it. It's scary. Armpit hair and stretch marks and periods and Hillary Clinton. You're, you're afraid that one day we will become so strong, so domineering that we will swallow you whole, and your last glimpse of the world will be of a giant tampon torpedoing through your mantle like the Russian Navy. <laughs> that your opinions will cease to exist. Newsflash, that's how women's opinions have been for centuries. We never mattered unless we bore you a child. But nowadays, children are far from your mind as your rough hands grip our waist into forced hugs we don't want to receive. Your voices ring out. Hey, sexy. That booty, though. Damn, Ma, shake that. Well, forgive me, but I don't really want to shake that, especially not for you. My ass is not a baseball you can hit and hope to receive a home run with. Women act Women actually do exist before and after a size C cup, although you may never find them since a C seems to be the only grade you can receive. Whoa. Whoa. And I suppose I am an easy target to you pubescent young men because I have a vagina, but just because you can break something doesn't mean that you should. You don't manhandle your grandmother's fine china. Or maybe you do, because your cold remarks and laughs at how I should just shut up and make you a sandwich only improve my argument that you have no real intelligence or perception. I mean, you can't even make your own fucking sandwich? <laughs> and I'm supposed to work under you one day? Oh wait, I said that wrong. It means get under you. If you think you are the epitome of attraction, I can assure you that you have the ideals of a sun-dried redneck and look just like one. So to, so to the boys who tease me for being a feminist, fuck off. Grow up. This is not about you. This is not even about me. This is about your future daughter who will learn at age 11 that she should not wear that skirt in public. At age 14, that for her to pursue engineering is futile, that her relevance is determined by her ability to sit down and shut up. This is about your future son who will believe that his only worth is in his ability to play football, that not taking no for an answer is a good thing. This is about seeing your mothers and sisters for who they are and not asking them to clean the house because you are perfectly capable. This is about what is to come, about the radical idea that you aren't the superior gender, that we are all equally human Human, that I, we women are more powerful than our orgasm, that maybe if we stop fucking you, the world will be filled with more intelligent men. And no, I won't back down because my righteousness irritates you. I will stop when my mother gets paid the same amount of money as my father. When you no longer laugh at jokes about rape. When I don't feel a need to claw at my body like it is a snakeskin I need to shed. When a woman's walking down the street does not become an episode of CSI. When middle-aged men don't stare at my figure like a glass of Chardonnay. When we are no longer compared to the Photoshop models and tummy tuck porn stars you jerk off to, when I am no longer what you jerk off to, when I am what you respect, when stop means stop, when no means no, when woman means equal.